Welcome to the Big Data course jointly presented by Jigsaw Academy and Wiley. Through this course, we hope to create a new international breed of versatile big data analysts. Class 1 gives you an overview of big data. It introduces the concept and gives a broad overview of the business applications of big data. In addition, the module gives a broad understanding of the technology infrastructure that is required to store, handle and manage big data. Finally, the module delves a little deeper into the Hadoop ecosystem as well as the MapReduce framework and explains how these popular frameworks support big data management. We'll understand this in a lot more detail as we explore these topics. The first topic we will discuss today is what is big data, what are its advantages and sources. We will be dividing class one into three broad categories. The first one is the history and evolution of big data. The second one is the structuring of big data and the elements that comprise it. And lastly, we will study the big data application in business analytics and the career op opportunities associated with studying big data. If you think of the world around you, there is an enormous amount of data generated, captured and transferred through various media within seconds. This data may come from a personal computer, social networking sites, transaction or communication system of an organization, ATMs and multiple other channels. Some reports have recorded that in 2002, there was an estimated 5 exabytes of online data in existence. Each exabyte is a massive 1 million terabytes of data. By 2009, the number had risen to 281 exabytes, a 56 times increase and this number has multiplied exponentially post-2009. This data is created in the form of posts, pictures, videos and weather information. This accumulation results in a continuous generation of an enormous value of data, which if analyzed intelligently can be of immense value as it can give us a variety of critical information to make smarter decisions. In other words, careful analysis can transform this data into information and information into insight. The need to analyze and offer this critical data in a systematic and comprehensive manner leads to the rise of a much discussed term and the pivot of this course, big data. So if we had to define big data, big data is a pool of large sized data sets to capture, store, search, share, transfer, analyze and visualize related information or data within an acceptable elapsed time. Big data assimilation is the process of examining large amounts of data to gain insight. Every second, consumers make 10,000 payment card transactions worldwide. Every hour, Walmart handles more than 1 million customer transactions. Every day, Twitter's users post 500 million tweets per day. Facebook users post 2.7 billion likes and comments in a day. As data continues to grow, there is a need for the data to be organized and made available so that it can be used as an information source. Earlier, due to lack of access and the means to process data, the potential of big data remained mostly untapped. There are three main factors to consider when talking about big data. So let's take a quick look at each of them. First, it's a new kind of data. It's a challenge since it requires leveraging different systems differently. Second, it is classified in terms of volume, variety and velocity. Volume refers to the amount of data, whereas variety refers to the type, internal or external or behavioral or social. The third classification velocity refers to its assimilation. How near or real time is it? We will look at these concepts in more detail in later classes. And finally, big data is largely unstructured and qualitative in nature hence giving its name, Big Data. Big Data is a new kind of challenge because besides its enormous implications, its significance is constantly increasing with the growth in data. Today, Big Data can mean anything from a single terabyte to a petabyte or even an exabyte. The systematic study of Big Data across sectors and geographies can lead to results such as understanding target customers better Cutting down of expenditures in the healthcare sector, increase in operating margins for the retail sector, several billions of dollars being saved by improvements in operational efficiency. 
across industries data along with analytics can transform major business processes in various ways such as improving performance in sports by analyzing and tracking performance and behavior improving science and research improving security and law enforcement by enabling better monitoring improving financial trading by making more informed decisions across organizations the right analysis of available data can transform major business processes in various ways like in procurement you can find out which suppliers are more cost effective in delivering products efficiently and on time product development manufacturing distribution marketing price management by optimizing prices based on the analysis of external factors merchandising sales store operations by adjusting inventory levels on the basis of predicted buying patterns study of demographics weather etc and human resources let's look at an example of the application of big data in the real world google applied its massive data collecting power to raise warnings for the flu plagues approximately 2 weeks in advance of the existing public services to do this google monitored millions of users health tracking behaviors and followed a cluster of queries on themes such as symptoms about flu congestion in chest and incidences of buying a thermometer google analyzed this collected data and generated consolidated results that revealed strong indications of flu levels across america besides the more obvious reference to volume big data has also been called so because of the various types and sources of data let's look at some of the source types of data and their usage think of social data from sources like facebook or twitter and how much it can tell us about the people using them and their behavioral patterns or data like gps outputs which can track our movements across the globe that's machine data or even transactional data from when we order a new pair of shoes online or when we buy pizza the need for big data is evident if leaders and economies want exemplary growth and wish to generate value for all their stakeholders big data has to be embraced and used extensively in the first part of topic 1 we covered what is big data what are its advantages and its various sources